trauma means separation. Before you used to identify physical injury, and now we use the word trauma also to identify emotional wounds, which means within an adverse event, a part of me separated from the core center and is holding on to a very intense emotional charge that is unable to dispose. What can happen is that I can remain very stuck in certain events that have happened in the past. Most people have been through some kind of adverse experiences or traumatic experiences in their life. Very often these experiences have happened within relationships. When we talk about relationships, we're talking about a very vast field, which may include the relationship with yourself, the relationship with your parents, the relationship with your environment, the relationship with your carers, friends, partners, money, pets. Everything we do in life creates a bond the relational bond, so the exchange between me and you. So relational trauma, also known as attachment trauma, is a sequence of repetitive and consistent adverse negative events. Let me give you an example. If your parents got separated when you were 10, 11 years old, perhaps you would use from your parents to be the messengers between them or perhaps you were neglected at that point. So because they couldn't decide what to do with you, you may have to spend a lot of times with relatives or grandparents, or you felt unseen, unheard, unloved. And the impact the trauma have had in your life is also defined by the emotional baggage that you may be carrying, you have carried, or you're still working through or processing. A part of you feels very stuck emotionally in that moment of time because you didn't have the tools to understand and process what was actually happening. Perhaps nobody have explained that to you. You didn't have any emotional support. You haven't started yet understanding how trauma have impacted you on an emotional level, but you may be experiencing some symptoms such as anxiety, sign of anxiety, depression. You have, may have codependency mechanism, fearing abandonment, rejection, or the opposite. You could be quite avoidant, trying to hide or untrustworthy, or so it could go really any direction. So this is why it's very much based on the individual experience. So what we're looking at is how trauma has impacted your life. Of course, trauma does not impact in the same way everybody. And this is why it's very hard to define. Of course, we're trying to figure out the level of intensity of certain traumas, which can be uh, because of a consequence of abuse, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual uh, abuse, or of course, there's neglect. Of course, there's extreme poverty, growing up with extreme poverty experiences, or growing up with um, maybe one of your parents had mental illness or undiagnosed mental illness and you were very confused when you were exposed to certain behaviors so you didn't feel safe or you didn't feel acknowledged, you didn't feel wanted. And that really creates patterns in life, which I call the traumatic patterns that we are looking to uh, define in therapy. And we also work to overcome and change. What is very important to understand is that behaviors do not identify who you are. Behaviors are just symptoms of something much more profound than that. With this, I don't want to justify certain behaviors because, of course, certain negative traits, patterns, mechanisms, dynamics can heavily impact one's life. But beyond certain behaviors, there are certain experiences, adverse experiences that we may be perpetrating. We may be very unconscious of why we behave in a certain way, or we, it's much easier to see how other people behave. In fact, every time I talk to people, they're very aware of how other people impact their life, but they never talk about how, who they are, how they behave, impact other people's lives, which, which I found extremely interesting. But the first step is acknowledging where we at, acknowledging how we respond, acknowledging how we feel. 
if we don't take time to, I say, sit with these uncomfortable feelings, it's really hard to understand what the next step will be because you need to work with what you have. And right now you have this in your plate. Most of all, we're looking at the things you don't even know are in your plate. And I would like to hear from you. Feel free to share your experience, uh, perhaps something that you have overcome in your life. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And of course, I'll be very grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. Uh, that really helps my work. Thank you.